Tina Ayoro. I am a performing artist from Mombasa, Kenya. I am also a communications lead in Jukwa Arts Production, where I also work. And I am an event host. Uh, I sing occasionally, specifically in performance. And um, I'm a lover of art, yeah. Jukwa Arts Production is a creative greenhouse where we work with emerging artists from different genres of art and we give them a space where they can create, explore, network with other artists and basically just give them a free platform where they can um, be artists freely. So the name of our Ignite Culture project is Chimidzimidzi, which is a Mijikenda term and it means home matters. Um, in this project, we are looking to archive ancestral memories of the Mijikenda people and we're focusing mostly on the rituals and ceremonies that they practice. The reason why we are or we chose to do this project is because um, we felt that there's a huge gap in some of the rituals and ceremonies that are already existing there and they're slowly fading away. And the only people we're dependent on are the living memories, so our grandparents. And there are not so many of them. Unfortunately, some of them have gone and they go with this information with them. So we decided to come in and archive what we can get so that it can be passed on to the next generation. The support we're getting from the Ignite Culture is financial aid, which is helping us to be able to create three new performances that we will be able to take around um, community spaces, as well as now also just, re, um, but um, this will go into our shelf of work. So that means we can restage these shows even after the project. Um, we are also going to be able to create a website where now anyone from wherever part of the world they're in, they can easily access information and learn more about the Mijikenda people and they can learn more about their rituals and their ceremonies. And we're also going to, you know, have merchandise there and of course increase the visibility of our company, Jukwa's Production, as well as the visibility of the project as well. We are here in Zanzibar for the Z Zanzig Night um, um, networking event as well as um, the Zanzibar International Film Festival. Uh, I mean, networking event, so we're just here to basically network and also just interact with other beneficiaries um, from the Ignite Culture Project. The experience has been good. It has been also very interactive as well as informative. Um, to be in a space with creatives who are like-minded and um, we are able to talk about um, same challenges sometimes and maybe different challenges as well as learn how other people who are ahead of you have gotten to the point of where they've gotten to I think is a, an amazing learning experience and I would love nothing more than more spaces like this for creatives to just have creative talks, learn from each other, steal what you can because that's what a good artist does <laughs> and definitely create more art because the world needs more magic. Personally, what I'm enjoying about Zanzibar is the weather. So I'm an island girl, so definitely enjoying the weather. The food, I'm so happy I get to enjoy the food. But also as a performing artist, I am enjoying just being around creative and learning the different forms of art that people are doing to upscale this industry and do more, um, just do more in terms of art.